following lesson is on solving equations using algebra. We'll begin by taking you through a few properties of equations and then showing you how to solve an equation step by step leading to an accurate and complete solution. Equations are two algebraic expressions that are set equal to one another. Equations are easily recognized by the symbol that separates them, the equal sign. Two horizontal dashes, one over top of the other. To solve an equation, the two algebraic expressions must remain equal to each other at all times. And to do this, we need to follow one very simple rule. You need to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. With this simple rule, you can never do anything wrong. The objective in solving an equation is to isolate the variable or the letter on one side of the equation. We'll give you some examples here and see what you need to do to isolate the variable or get the x all by itself. In equation a, x plus 5 equals 8, what do you need to do to get x by itself? Or in other words, what do we need to do to both sides of the equation to eliminate the plus 5? We'll subtract 5 from both sides. x plus 5 minus 5, or just x, and on the right side we will have 8 minus 5, which gives us an answer of 3. x equals 3. In equation B, what do we need to do to get rid of the minus 2? We will add 2 to both sides, leaving us with x equals 4 plus 2, or 6. In the equation in C, we have negative 3 multiplied to x and equal to 12. What do you need to do to both sides? We need to do the opposite of multiplication. We need to divide both sides by negative 3, leaving us with just 1x equal to 12 divided by negative 3, or negative 4. In our equation in D, we have x being divided by 5 equals 4. What do we need to do to both sides to eliminate divided by 5? We would do the opposite and multiply both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 on the left-hand side leaves us with just 1x, and 5 times 4 equals 20. Let's solve some equations that involve more than one step. In our first example, 3x plus 4 equals negative 14. The first step, we want to get 3x by itself, so we would eliminate the 4 by subtracting 4 from both sides. The next step, we need to eliminate the 3 in front of the x. We would need to divide both sides by 3, leaving us with x equals negative 6. Try this next example on your own. First, we'd want to isolate the term containing the x, eliminate minus 3 by adding 3 to both sides. To eliminate dividing by 7, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 7. The 7's on the left hand side will reduce, leaving us with negative 2x, and on the other side we'll have 28. To eliminate the negative 2 in front of the x, it is multiplied, so we'll need to divide both sides by negative 2, giving us an answer of x equal to negative 14. The important thing to remember in solving equations is doing the same thing to both sides.